create a hero component that is going to be displayed in the home page for now. But you can we're gonna make a reusable component that we can render this component in different pages if we need to, or multiple times in the same page. So back to the code here, we finish up creating our not found page and the loading page in the previous video. Now inside of the components folder, let's right click and create a new file. Let's call it just hero.tsx. And then this hero component is going to be, let's just do export default function hero. And then we're going to take, a, take in some props here because we want this component to be able to take in the image URL, the alt tag and some heading to display in like in the middle of the picture. So let's create a interface so we can add some types to the props. So let's do interface hero props. And here we're going to take in a image URL, which is going to be a type string. Then the image uh, bold tag, also a type string. And we also want to take in the heading or the text that we want to display. So this, this could be title, text, anything that you want. I'm just gonna call it heading for this one. So now we can pass in this um, type here, or interface to the components. So we have some types in there. Now we're going to return a div from here, which is going to have a image inside. So we're gonna use the image component from Next.js, so this one here. And for this component, we're going to set the source to props.image URL. And we're going to set the old tag to props.old tag. Cool. So in here, what else do we need? We need to set the property fill. So you can take in all the space available there. And then we're also going to have the style set to object fit. And we're going to set that to cover. And then we're going to have a Another div down here, where is this one is going to wrap in H1, where we're going to display the props dot heading. And for the H1, we're going to add some classes here as well. We're going to add the text to AXL. And we're going to set the text to black. because I'm going to use an image that is going to look better with black in the background. And then not in the background, but the text. And then the div here, we're also going to add some classes here. Here we're gonna to need to set this to flex and then justify center so we can center the text. And then we're going to do item centers as item center. items dash enter and we're going to set this to also to be absolute so it can be on top of the image and we're going to set the inset to zero so it can be displayed properly on top of the image so then this is all the properties or the types that we need for now then we could import this 
hero component back into the main page. So where's the main page? This is the home page, members page. No, I want to display it in the home page for this one. So let's import the hero component. And then we're going to display it down here. And our hero component is going to be expecting a image URL. And then the image URL, I'm going to grab it from uh, a picture from Monsplash and just so we can grab a quick one. So I'm just going to copy this for testing and I'm just going to paste it in here. Let me do a const URL equals and then paste it here for now. So I'm going to pass that URL variable that we, I created on top to the image URL prop here. We also need to set the image alt tag. We're just going to say uh, group of people uh, setting or let's say just not setting. Um, yeah setting on setting well we can say group of people having a meeting something like that and then last we need to set the heading that we want to display in the middle of the picture so we're going to just say core members because we are creating a members base application where we have different members. Let me go back to home. Okay, so in home, if I refresh, let's see what we're going to get. We get this um, error here that is going to say that we need to add the image that on splash to the next JS config. So we can copy that and go to the Next.js config file here. We're going to copy this down because we already have one from the members page. We're going to leave the HTTP here and we're going to paste it down here. We're going to save that and let's refresh to see if we need to add anything else. Come on, come on, come on. Let me go back, refresh. See if I got any errors. It's compiling. Let's go back home. Oh, we got core members in here, and then we have the image at the back and right now um, but the navigation var disappear so let's fix that now let's go back to the hero component and on this top div that is wrapping the image and the h1 let's add some class names here let's do relative and then um, high dash screen and then let's see that looks better and let's also go back to the page let's go back to this page here on the home page and then we can remove this container here because it's adding the extra space to the side and now if we take a look, we don't have that um, padding on the side because we removed the container class. We can also remove this H1 here because now we have a nice um, hero component here with the title in the front. So here we're using the URL. We could We could do that if we have our own, you know, images hosted in, in some, some platform, but we could also download the image and bring it into the public folder as well. 
So let's see, we could, you could save the image into your local computer and then you can grab it and bring it over from, let me just bring it over to our public folder here. So we got the image here and we can also now import the image. So we could do, let's see, let's do back into our hero component. No, let's into the page and those the home page. Let's do a cons img equals to four slash public. We can just pass it to the URL here too. I mean to the prop, the image URL, but we can do it like this and then save it to this variable if we want to, if we wanted to, but we can just copy this and just pass it in here. But I created a separate variable just so we can see it. So I can keep both ways of doing it here. And then we can save it now. And then we're going to get the requested re, uh, it's invalid image for public. Um, uh, let's see right now we're getting an error. So let me see what we need to do here. Let's give it a quick refresh. So we got any errors here. Image one failed to request image of one. Let me see, let me put this back to the URL. All right, it's fetching this fine. But then the public here is not, maybe it needs a quick refresh or something. Let me put this back. Go back to about. Home. Let me stop the server. Oh wait, let me see. Request the source is in a valid image for public JSON, JPEG, receive a text. Okay, so let me see. Let me stop this server, run it back up and give it a second. Let's let the application compile. Okay, so I think um, the only thing we need to remove here is the four slash public here. We don't need to specify that it's from the public because uh, Next.js is already looking for those static images there. And let me hide the terminal here. And now everything is working with the downloaded image that is now inside of the public folder. So now we have a reusable hero component that we can pass in a image URL, the old tag and a heading to be displayed in the center of the picture. We can have our navigation back to our users in about, and then now we should be able to uh, connect our application to a real database. We're going to use MongoDB in the next video so we can start doing some CRUD functionality. I'll see you in the next video.